saying God created everything out of the ground. Also Adam was created out of the ground. But after bringing everything to Adam so that Adam can give names to every creature, every bird, every fish in the sea and everything that was around, there was nobody that was found to be suitable to be a comparable helper to Adam. When God gives you a wife, he gives you a comparable helper, somebody who will help you, somebody who will come to your help when you need the person, and somebody whom you will adore. Adam said to the lady or to the creature, let me say so, I will call her woman. Why? Because she was taken out of men. If there is any lady here, can you say, I was taken out of of a man. If you are not yet married, it means if you are not married yet and you are worrying, stop worrying today. Where you have been taken out from has not yet availed itself or himself. But the time comes, will come where the person will avail himself so that you can know that you are a helper to this one. If there is any man who is not yet married here, can you say, I'm still I still have to go and find my rib. If you haven't gone into marriage, please don't worry. Your partner has not yet come. He is on the way or she is yet to be found by you. And I believe at the right time, God will make you to find your right partner. So that you can understand marriage is from God. Mama, I believe in 50-50. I don't believe in it now. Even tomorrow, I won't believe in it. The Bible says the husband... Is the head. When Eve was found, the Bible says, it means now Adam is the one to explain to Eve what is to be done. So I believe today when we are going to be joined in the presence of the Lord, there will be agreement between you. There will be love between you. There will be communion between you. Everyone will do his rightful duty or job in the family. And as you are going to be doing that, God will bless you. Richly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Can you clap your hands for Jesus? Presence. Lord, I believe that as from today, they shall be one. And nobody will be able to separate them. No circumstance will separate them. No evil spirit, no attack will separate them as from today. They are under your eye and they are under your anointing. Join them together in love. Let the husband love the wife. The wife respect the husband. And as we are joining them before you, Father, I believe that this union will be permanent and this union will stay forever. No separation will come between them. I command every evil attack and spirit that tries to separate them that it will never work for you in Jesus name they are under the anointing of the father in the mighty name of Jesus and so shall it be in Jesus name you are blessed amen